good evening everyone welcome back to ycp sessions so in the last two classes we were uh, discussing about uh, some of the important concepts in first unit uh, we discussed about panchakoshas uh, panchapranas shat chakras and then we discussed uh, how glands are present and how they are associated with each and every chakra so today we will be moving on to the next topic so let me share this screen so today's topic is about purusharda purushardas uh you might have all listened about uh, or you might have known this uh, purushadas so uh, there are four purushadas which has been uh, which have been discussed in our uh, indian philosophy or in our uh, bhartiya gnana parampara so the four purushadas are nothing but dharma artha kama and moksha so most of the people know the meanings of all this but let us uh, revive according to the syllabus which is given in our uh, prescribed textbook so dharma dharma means righteousness law or duty it deals with moral values so when a situation is present where we need to take an action so at that particular situation or a particular scenario how we are going to think and how righteously we are going to act that is nothing but dharma so there might be a difference between dharma and nyaya but dharma is always the duty or always the law that is the right thing which you need to do with the moral values which you you, you might have learned from your childhood dharma ante emi ledandi edaina oka pani chese tappudu లేదా ఏదైనా సినారియో వచ్చినప్పుడు మన చుట్టుపక్కల ఏదైనా కాన్ఫ్లిక్ట్ కానీ ప్రాబ్లం కానీ సొల్యూషన్ వస్తే ఏది ధర్మబద్ధంగా ఉంటుందో అది మనం ఫాలో అవుట్ చేయాలి ఈ ధర్మం అనేది చిన్నప్పటి నుంచి మనం నేర్చుకునే వాల్యూస్ బట్టి వస్తుంది బట్ అస్ ది సెకండ్ వన్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ ది అర్ధ ఇన్ జనరల్ అర్ధ మీన్స్ మనీ ఆల్సో సో వెల్త్ ప్రాస్పెరిటీ మెటీరియల్ వెల్త్ సో ఇట్ ఆల్వేస్ కమ్స్ విత్ ఎకనామిక్ వాల్యూస్ సో ఎకనామిక్ వాల్యూస్ ఇన్ ది సెన్స్ కమర్షియల్ వాల్యూస్ ఫైనాన్షియల్ వాల్యూస్ వాట్ ఎవర్ it deals with materialistic pleasures or materialistic possessions it is known as artha artha in the sense everyone needs to follow dharma while acquiring wealth dabbu sampadichadamu important everyone needs some money to lead their life some um, they need a property that means they need a a house to stay and they need some clothes to wear so few basic things in our life are important to get those basic things we need to earn money each and every person they need to do some kind of work to go go on their livelihood so to earn that money or to go through their livelihood they should always follow dharma so dharma comes first and then with that uh, dharmic values you need to possess the economic values so the next comes kama kama is nothing but desire it is now also known as pleasure so it deals with the psychological values psychological values in the sense everyone has a desire to have a good house they have a desire to eat good food they have a desire to wear good clothes to re, uh, to wear some silk clothes everyone desire to get a promotion so each and everyone have some desire this desire can be any kind of desire it could be a material desire or it could be a physical desire whatever it is so if you are aiming at something to have comfort to have pleasure that is known as kama so the person while following the dharmic values that is the moral values he should be able to earn some money or some livelihood with these two things he should be able to deserve without earning anything he should not i mean a person who is desiring something he should follow these two rules dharmic and ardha then only he should desire for example a person who is not working anything who is just very lazy he should not have a uh, kama that i should go and become a pm that is not possible right to become a pm or to even contest as a pm he should have some values values in the sense he should go and campaign in campaign means he should need some money and uh, he should have some following he should be able to figure out the agenda of the election or the uh, agenda of their party so there are many things if a person is desiring something he should he should have a dharmic sense and at the same time he should have some possessive wealth wealth in the sense this material wealth could be anything even knowledge is also wealth so with these two things he should be able to desire and the next comes moksha which is nothing but the liberation it always deals with spiritual values spiritual values in the sense adhyatmika so once a person 
follows dharma then comes artha kama at the end he always wants to liberate himself from all the desires he doesn't want at the end at the end in the sense when he goes through enough moral values economic values psychological values at the end at the end of their life or at the end of the grihastha jivana that is at the end vana vana prastha or when the person becomes saint he always wants to become self liberated self liberated means free from all the desires free from all the pains free from all the sufferings he neither wants to be happy he neither wants to be uh, sad he always wants to be in a uniform state liberating himself and going and joining with the parmatma that is the last state that is moksha so each and every state we can't say that uh, first we need to follow dharma then i will come and follow artha then i will come kama then i will go for moksha these four are interrelated each and every value is interrelated that's why this circle so all the four values in each and every stage while the person is growing from childhood to uh, old while is becoming old all these four values will be part of his life and he should be able to follow all these values so purushardhas in general what is meant by purushardha purusha plus ardha is purushardha so ardha is nothing but gaining something or Uh, getting something, targeting something. In other words, aim. What do we want in our life? Purusha, in the sense, man. So don't think that it is only for man. In general, it is a universal term as purusha. So in Sankhya Yoga, if you have listened, there will be two. So if you see the Sankhya Yoga chart, there will be purusha and prakriti. Purusha, in other words, is nothing but the cosmic soul or the supreme mercy. So we are all the we are all amshas of the purusha that is we are all small amsha of the god so each and every human being whether it is a man or whether it is a woman they should be having some aims they should be having some targets or should know for what they are le- leading their life that is purushartha so purusha plus ardha is purushartha so it usually helps us a confused human being to find out the priorities in his life so uh, every human being or every individual at one point or the other he will be at the verge of uh, some situation where he doesn't know to take up uh, if there are many options he doesn't know which one to take it up sometimes uh, we will be stuck in one situation where you, where you doesn't know whether to follow the artha value or whether you want to follow the moral values or for example you are working in a very good company and uh, you were working in india and uh, you got a promotion where you need to move to us or uk one of the foreign country you were given a good um, package uh, you were giving a, you were given a promotion and at the same time what happened was uh, your mother and father who were staying in india they needed you they were uh, going through some um, problems uh, health problems they needed you at that moment so uh, it, there were two parts one to follow your dream where you can become a ceo or where you can lead a company where you were given a good opportunity to grow yourself in the career whereas at the second path was nothing but to take care of your parents who has given birth to you who has helped you to lead the life who are the only reason where you are standing now so in this particular scenario there are two paths which one to select whether to stay with your parents or whether to take the career path so these are some of the situations i have just given a very simple situation so each and every individual they will be going through many these kind of situations uh, while while they study like for example after 10 whether to take mbbs or whether to take uh, engineering and um, after doing btech whether to join a software job or whether to start our own company whereas uh, a person who has done his degree he wants to go for i have he wants to write uh, apsc i mean uh, the state service commission exams or to go for ias exam or to write a bank exam in this way at every junction in your life there may be many options so how do we select that option so that you can also be in peace with the other people in your life so this purushardhas will help you to reach to your goal how to reach to the goal how to take a right decision so that is the main concept of purushardhas and it also recognizes the various urges urges and kolika various urges inherent in man every man has some desires 
every man has some needs every man has some wants some people they hide their desires they hide their wants they just behave like as a good persons good individuals so they they hide their basic instincts ప్రతి మనిషికి కొన్ని క్వాలిటీస్ ఉంటాయి అంటే కొన్ని యానిమలిస్టిక్ క్వాలిటీస్ లాస్ట్ టైం వీ హ్ గాన్ త్రూ వేర్ ఎ పర్సన్ విల్ బి మూవింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ యానిమల్ హుడ్ టు గాడ్ హుడ్ రైట్ సో హౌ ఎ పర్సన్ స్టార్ట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ యానిమలిస్టిక్ ప్లెజర్ అండ్ హౌ వి ప్రీజ్ హౌ వి రీచెస్ టు ది డివైన్ హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ ప్రాసెస్ దిస్ మ్యాన్ విల్ బి హ్యావింగ్ సో మెనీ అడ్జస్ట్ అండ్ డిజైర్స్ బట్ సమ్టైమ్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు హైడ్ ఇట్ సో వితౌట్ హైడింగ్ అండ్ ఇఫ్ ఈస్ హ్యావింగ్ సమ్ అడ్జస్ట్ how to satisfy those urges how to satisfy those desires but in a right way in a dharmic way so in that type of situations what we need to follow in general the very concept of purushartha it clearly regulates the human life that means it gives us a action plan it gives us a road map how to lead our life by following our instincts by satisfying our goals and at the same time being harmony with the family and uh, there are four purushadas which we just discussed uh, discussed in the last slide dharma that is righteousness doing good whatever it is doing right not good doing right ardha that is wealth kama satisfaction of sensual desires moksha freedom or spiritual liberation so uh, to just uh, have one simple definition dharma so a kind of uh, situation where Uh, you will be thinking why am i here why in this particular situation i am always placed so you might be encountering some situations where you will think why why me why always i am suffering so if the, if you are uh, going through that kind of situations you have to understand everything is planned you are not the reason for each and everything the the entire universe is going on with some script uh, and you need to just follow whatever is right for example um, you might hold the uh, legend about bhagavad gita and mahabharata so when arjuna enters into the battle field uh, be- before starting even starting the war field when he just stands in the center of the war field krishna would be standing in the chariot krishna would be front and arjuna will be in the back and he saw and he sees so many uh, people in the uh, so many soldiers and other people in the war field in front of him the moment he sees his uh, leg starts trembling he thinks am i suppose all these people are my cousins all these people are my relatives all these people are some way or the other related to me do i really need to fight with them so the one basic question of uh, arjuna see these are all my brothers right all my cousins why i should fight with them for the bloody material wealth do i really need that rajyam do i really need to uh, need to become as a king so he starts thinking do i really need to fight why i have to kill so many people so many women will be lo- losing their husbands so many mm, mothers will be losing their sons so many kids will be losing their parents do i really need to fight in this warrior in this battle field at that time when he gets this question he was in just a sanklishta a situation where he doesn't know what to do then krishna says to him do what is right yedi correcto adhe chey this is your duty what is your duty you are standing in this war field your duty is to fight with the soldiers your duty is to fight with the uh, other people who are standing there. you are opposite team or you are opposite so you fight with your enemy that is your duty don't think about other things so in the same way dharma helps you to take a right decision the right way of living and how to behave as a human being human behaviors which are very much needed to have order of things in the world if the world needs to go forward in a right way you should always follow dharma next comes artha what do i need what do i need in the sense always we always uh, tell even in yoga sutras we say that saucha santosha tapasva adhyaya ishvara pranidana saucha santosha saucha and then santosha santosha is nothing but content content means always try to be happy with what you have yes exactly we need to be happy with what we have that doesn't mean that if i am if i am having a small house which is a small hut but if i am lacking some basic resources 
i should not think that okay i have a hut with the um, um, uh, hut with the roof that is enough for me you should also try to end something to have your livelihood so thinking and being content of only few things is not good but content by earning also earning in a right way so it's all about being content with the things you own and at the same time live skillfully in a world of material objects that exist for your benefit that means so if something is going to give you a benefit in a right way but again don't think it in a uh, illegal way in other way if you need to live in this world very skillfully skillfully in the sense don't earn too much and at the same time don't lose too much if you want to eat food don't aim at having five varieties Uh, main course, soup, and start and starter. Always try to have simple food. Go for mita hara. So to get that mita hara, also you need to work right. You should not think that I will go and beg. Uh, that is enough for me. Whatever they are going to get today, if they give food, I will eat. Today, if they are not going to give food, I will sleep. That's not the right way because you have to take care of your body. You have to take care of your family. So that's why how to live skillfully by having some benefit. Next comes karma. What do you want? first one why i am here in this world second one what do i need to lead this life third one what exactly i am aiming what do i want every human being if you say yes or no they have some pleasures they have some wants so uh, one wants a beautiful uh, wife one wants a beautiful house so their pleasures are different so according to their pleasure according to their sensuality some might like music some some might be attracted towards beauty some always needs intimacy some always needs affection some people want all those things so how to bring uh, these pleasures into a life but in dharmic way so everyone needs pleasure if you want you try to have something if you desire for something work rightfully then satisfy those pleasure so karma is good nishkama you might while explaining about karma yoga nishkama karma yoga nishkama means we should be able to reach to a stage where we should not have any desires that is only possible if you go to anandamaya kosha but generally when you are growing every person has that karma so try to have those karma but with good intentions but with dharmic way next comes moksha see you have taken birth you understood why you were here and you started earning after earning you had some desires you have satisfied those desires enough stop with that now see the first reason why you have been here you might have figured out by this time nen enduku puttanu anedi ee moodu stage lopala meeku telisipoyi undali after you fulfill all your pleasures all your pleasures by the end of third stage that is while you are growing up while you have while you might have grown from a small baby to a yavana that is a teenage boy then to prohasta a married person then you might be having family then you might have earned some good property then you might be taking care of your children you have did your business you have did your work and all there should be stop at some point there should be stop so after stopping at some point why why i am here the same question why i am here who am i so to go to that particular stage that is we have born from the amsa of that is parma amsa means uh, we are the amsa of the supremacy supremacy means brahma yoka amsa ka puttam so to reach that amsa again should go and merge with the brahman so how to go there moksha is seen as the final release from the life's illusion till now whatever you are lead your life that is all maya script written by the god we are all players we just act according to the script how we are acting who is the director god is the director our mind will be directing how to do so to our body our mind is the director to the entire universe god is the director we are all playing our scripts each and every character needs to be ended sometime to get to that end we should liberate ourselves that is we should come out of that character to come out of that character you should know who you are really so once you go into the picture you have to play the character when you are coming out of the picture you should know about yourself your true self that is come out of the illusion come out of that maya this can be only possible when you are trying to relate with the adhyatmika 
So Adi plus Atmika, Adhyatmika. You should know what is spirituality. So that is the last stage. Usually people go through this Adhyatmika uh, from their uh, Vanaprastha, that is Sannyasa. Once they, they fulfill all their responsibilities, then everyone is recommended to go through the Sannyas Marga. Then they will be reaching their Moksha. So this is all the same thing uh, which has been discussed here. I have just uh, given the points which were in the textbook. So again, the choice of desires and the methodology adopted in satisfying these desires must be regulated by the Dharma. That's what we discussed. So ye, whatever pleasure it is, whatever desire it is, you should be regulated by Dharma. So having Artha and Kama are not bad. Everyone can aim at Artha and Kama, but they must be necessarily following the principles of Dharma to satisfy that ardha or karma to earn that material wealth follow the dharma and also dharma helps us to discriminate between good and bad and it helps us to lead a good life which is the higher or out of these four uh, purushardhas which is the highest one moksha moksha also known as liberation is the higher than the dharma too. it is the parama purushardha so you need to remember this out of these four pushardas, which is the parama pushardha, that is the moksha. Ardha and kama are also necessary, but they should be following the dharmic principles. And moksha uh, lends credence to dharma. So that means only with the dharma, only with dharma, we won't be able to get the moksha. All the three things should be continued so that you can lead to moksha, that is nirvana or kaivalya. So that was the end of the. Uh, Purusha das.